Justin, who is calling in from Virginia Beach. Justin, what's going on? Oh, Tidewater. Hey, how you doing? How you guys? I'm doing all right now. What's up, Justin? Yeah, I just want to uh, talk a little bit about how my path to um, getting out of Christianity, uh, you know, I was looking up things and I saw certain things like the, um, you know, the uh, or, origin story of how, how the world came to be and everything. Mm -hmm. I said something, it doesn't seem quite right. So I looked into other religions and one religion that I, I stumbled across was uh, Scientology. And um, mm -hmm. when I looked at it, I, I was like, why would anybody believe this? And I, I started to become intrigued mm. about how it all started and, and why is it a religion? And I kind of realized, well, this religion, it seems a lot like all the other religions, you know, in, in the way that it got started. It started by, uh, you know, science fiction writer named L. Ron Hubbard. He, brought, right. this, he wrote this book, Dianetics. You know, it was, it was designed to be a self-help book. And, you know, yes. I'm like, well, what if the Bible, what if that was created, you know, in the beginning to be a self-help book? And I'm like, you know, there's a lot of things, a lot of systems in place in Scientology that keeps you trapped in religion. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that they have is uh, something like... Um, they, they call it um, using the cans. Uh, I forget what they call it, but you're using this uh, machine called the e-meter. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like a confession. Uh, I can't remember what and it's called they're... either. Now that I'm thinking about it, but yeah, they they have these. Yeah, there's lots of methods and stuff. I want to. I know you have more to say, Joseph, but I want to back up a bit because this is something Nathaniel and Susan actually talk about a lot, in particular talking about the Bible. But first, yeah, you're right. If it turns out, if you have enough money, um, and you're persuasive enough, you can convince a lot of people of a lot of stupid stuff. Um, and L. Ron Hubbard's a great example of that. I think uh, I, I'm a fan of the podcast Behind the Bastards. They do a great breakdown of L. Ron Hubbard and how he kind of got started with that. Uh, it's a wonderful breakdown there. But, you know, you mentioned maybe the Bible started off as a self-help book. And really, I I can already tell, uh, you know, that like Nathaniel and I especially, because we've talked about this in depth before, and I mean, Susan too, but like, you know, we, we talk about the history of the Bible. But the history of the Bible is a, actually really incredibly complex topic. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit more than just, oh, a person had some ideas and then, you know, wanted everybody to follow it. Because there's tons of different authors with tons of different motivations. And uh, they all have different contributions to the religion. And for most ancient religions, that seems to be true as well. It, it's usually not just one person as much as, you know, people highlight one person in the religion, you know, for Buddhism. It might be Buddha. For Christianity, it's going to be Jesus. But really, tons and tons of people contributed to the thought processes and ideas. Um, and so it, it, it comes a bit more murky. It's not, I think only we see in the modern age where one person can write a scam and just have it, you know, uh, take off with as such direct control as it has, because the, the farther in time it goes, the more out of control it gets. And already, you know, I, Scientologists are doing stuff a bit differently than probably what L. Ron Hubbard would have done. But yeah, I want you guys to weigh in on this too. Um, L. Ron Hubbard made a religion where he said he knew he could make money. Yeah. Um, he, he wrote books yeah. about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. I, 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 I'd appreciate his honesty. Yeah. I wish others were honest. Joseph Smith. But... <laughs> L. Ron Hubbard was a pulp writer whenever pulp writers got paid by the word. Yeah. So he was, yeah. he was in it well, for he, the sake of he was, being... And he was... He was, he was... officer, as a matter of fact. He was, well, he was, um, um, incompetent. He was incompetent, and uh, the Navy actually um, kicked him out for being so incompetent um, during uh, back in um, I want to say World War II. Yeah, so he uh, basically uh, there, he thought they were Japanese submarines. I think they were Japanese submarines um, out in the water, and there weren't. So he shot like I think it was like mines at them and blow, blew up parts of the ocean floor. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Also, he uh, like kidnapped. He he shelled the island off of uh, Mexico, like he shelled it, and you know, yeah. and his the uh, higher ups like, "What the hell are you doing?" Like this guy doesn't seem mentally, yeah, um, really crazy. Uh, capable but you know, of, just uh, being in command. 
We're yeah. we are privileged because we have the internet that can tell us this. Also, you know, books yeah. that have been written about him. Um, you know, the vast majority of people for the vast majority of history haven't had the same levels of, you know, institutional knowledge that they could access. Um, and, you know, but Scientology still affects people today and yeah. they're getting celebrities. They're getting these high up connections because, I mean, that's sure. how they start. They start through social, you know, informal conversations and slowly work their way into people. Um, it, it's the same thing that with like pyramid schemes. It's the same thing with all kinds of other you know, models. It's it's with any it's yeah. It's yeah. Like, was but, it the bike model? It, it, yeah. it goes it goes it goes deeper than that though. But it seems like they're they're trapped, and I would recommend people would look into it because um, with with uh, trying to to get out, you're you're disconnected. Yes, um, that's what I recommend. Witnesses use uh, as well. Yeah, and I recommend any look up and, their religion. <laughs> yes. That's, yeah. that's what I was going to mention. Well, I mean, how many times do we have that conversation? You, Scientologists cannot go on the internet. They're forbidding. They're forbidden to look up Scientology on the internet. Like, if you, if they found out that they're looking it up in the internet, they'll be punished. You know. Yeah. And it's it's just a, a big, a large it's, um, set of systems to keep you trapped in in that into that uh, religion. Same thing with Mormons yeah. on their mission. It's the same. It's the same oh yeah, sort of Jehovah's thing. Witnesses too. Yeah. I um, and there are I mean, obviously you know Telltale Atheists and other people speak about uh, Jehovah's Witnesses uh, for good reason. Ex cult baby, mm -hmm. we had Jehovah's Witnesses vid visit us in our apartment. We lived in Arlington, and uh, that was fun. Yeah, so I had they came back after we asked them not to very politely. Yeah, she made me. Uh, made I made me I made him them. not engage with. Them. <sighs> I'm a nice guy. And when they came back, I was not nearly as um, nice. Sure. And I, I, there were like teenagers there in the apartment complex. And I was like, hey, you're in a cult. Just so you know, you should look it up. And, and I, the, 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 <laughs> the, um, what is my the yes, the, the response that I got from the young lady that was there was I have a right to be here. And I was like, yeah, I didn't say you didn't. I don't yeah. know why you would think that, but also you Google this. And she said, we don't look things up on the internet. So that's a real thing. Yeah. And you can tell that it's a cult because GTA five, my favorite part of that game is <laughs> when you're in a cult and you have to go and do stuff in the cult and continue to give them money. And I'm like, this is Scientology. This is yeah. what this is. <laughs> so, yeah, really good parody of that. But Justin, um, thanks for calling in about this. Yeah. Really appreciate you contributing no to this conversation on Scientology. Yeah, I. Um, before we get to this last call here, I had a, a story because the first time I met Telltale Atheist, this was before um, he put himself out on the internet, like his face and stuff. You know, before he used to just do voiceovers. Now he does more camera stuff. Um, and if you if you ever meet Telltale, Telltale looks like the old, like a pretty boy skater, like just the most would not expect him to have come from Jehovah's Witnesses of all no. plainness. You know what I mean? Like he's, he's just absolute, like super great. Look, very aesthetic. Shout outs to you, my friend. Uh, but it's just like, great holy shit. like, yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's, it's very funny. It, you don't expect the kind of beliefs people have, you know, um, yeah. and, and what it used to be, I get comments all the time from people who watch my video and they're like, you don't like that doesn't even seem like you like you seem like a completely different person it's like yeah that's kind of what happens so i cannot picture him yeah. being a youth pastor I yeah can't. and he used to be a youth pastor i, I can't see it, picture though. that i could see i it, can't though. look he just has to wear he has to wear some toms you know get himself a flannel shirt get him a oh. little mic i could see it right it's you know? uh mid mid 2000s and uh yeah. definitely did it i i, I think i wore a toby mac shirt like every day i don't doubt that so yeah. there's okay. that. <laughs> well, real quick, I want to get to this last call before uh, we sign off and go to the Discord after show. So if you're watching live, be sure to check in on that. But now I want to go ahead and get to our last call.